Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to pick this thing up because I just realized that it's a different color. <laughs> oh, where's my color table? Okay, well, here's there's lesson number one. You know how you have to spend a whole bunch of those modification kits when you want to change the color on something? I don't know, you know, um, whether it's three or four or five modification kits to change the color. So if you have an item like this and you want to change the color, it calls for three kits. And the kits are for sale in the cash register at Tish's Furniture Store. And they cost 100 gold each, so it would be 300 gold when I changed this standing lamp to a different color. However, if I click on the very first original color, the default color, it will let me put it back for, for $0. So I can still click apply modification and then it should be back in the regular colors. I don't know. You guys probably already knew that, but if you don't do a lot of goofing around on your plot, you might not realize because I have uh, talked to some of my subscribers before after I do a video and they're like, oh my gosh, how much did it cost you to get those um, these Ravenwood uh, path stones that I have on the ground. I had them all red and green for Christmas and they wanted to know how much I had to pay to undo them. But luckily undoing them is free. <laughs> it's only when you color them, but you can uncolor them for free. Mordrena by Ron Ghost. That I think I've said hi to everybody. How are you guys this evening? Are you having a good Saturday? Playing some Palea. Ember born double gate. Okay, well that makes sense. And this is the um, Ember born fence. So um, what I should do is add up <laughs> what it costs to do this because you're not gonna want to do this. Um, this is the Ember born swing gate. That's one of the smaller. So let's see. This one is the Emberborn nightstand. <clears throat> I think it was the least intensive for actually making a piece. So a lot of people want to make the hot tub, but you don't get to pick what recipe comes up next for you. So if you want to try to pick the smallest things, so that you don't use all your flow wood and all of your um, palium bars before you even get to make the hot tub. So I think I picked this nightstand um, after I think the first thing that I ever had to make was the brazier. I'm pretty sure that's right. So I had, this is the brazier. This is the first thing we ever got. And that was when we finished the Temple of the Flames. So you received the brazier and you could make it and then you could choose your next recipe. And at the time, the only recipes we got for Emberborn were like um, this dining table and this table lamp. And I think the bed and the nightstand. So I'm pretty sure that was it. And so you made those. And then it was a couple of months later. And I don't remember the occasion, but maybe it was when you finished the entire vault or something. We then got a chance to make some other recipes. It was the fences. So that's when I started making my fence and my gates. And it was so expensive. Oof. So then a couple of weeks ago, when we had the last dev update, they went ahead and gave us the rest of this furniture. And then, you know, we got uh, the gates and the fencing, because I know I was doing that before Christmas. And we had this uh, dining table and this little uh, table lamp. Those were in the early set with the brazier.
But then the pieces that we just got two weeks ago started with this. We were given the recipe for this emberborn reed planter. So you had to make the planter and then you got three pieces of inspiration. So you could pick one of those three and that would be your next recipe. And of course, everybody wanted the hot tub, but it wasn't one that I got right away. You know, my choices were more like, okay, the couch and the wardrobe and the coffee table. Well, I knew the coffee table would be the least out of those three. <laughs> <laughs> the least amount of flow wood and paleom bars. So I chose coffee table. And then in the next set of three things, I chose um, to learn how to make the uh, planter. So it's the emberborn flower planter. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ghost says, I saw people putting flowers into their reed planters. Oh, really? Did you now? Ha! Huh. Now, okay, so I've tried a couple things that did not work. And then you guys said, try putting your flowers into your koi pond. So I did that with the Grimalkin. Those are the Grimalkin tail flowers. And I did get one to go right into my koi pond. So that was so exciting. But I don't know if it was because it was that particular flower. I don't know. I'm going to try one of these other flowers and see if it'll go in the reed planter. Who knows? I didn't really. You've got to be kidding me. <gasps> Look at that. Uh, my Discord devils are so smart. <laughs> Look at you go, you guys. Let's see, maybe I'll go ahead and put another yellow one in the other end of it, just for um, OCD. I mean, um, for balance. <laughs> okay. How cute is that? That is so neat. Yeah, and I bet you could put those tall Grimalkin ones in the middle if I had some more of those. Oh, that's so neat. That looks so cool. Anyway, so the next thing I chose to make was this hanging planter. And after the hanging planter, the next thing I chose, because I still didn't get the tub, was this bookshelf, <laughs> the wall shelf. And you can either use it as um, to put underneath your windows as window sills, or you can use it to put on the wall as bookshelves, you know, and, and just put items on it. And then I finally got to pick the tub and it called for 60, six, zero, 60 flow wood planks. I kid you not. I know a lot of people love it. I think this is the masculine version more and they are really big, hunky, honking pieces <laughs> of furniture. Like what I did when I got the brazier, the emberborn brazier, I, I just thought I didn't have a place that I would use it. And then finally, I realized I could climb up in my gazebo. See, this is how bad I am. I will put things, if I don't want to have to see them, like in my storage, I don't want to have to like scroll past them in my storage. <laughs> Uh, or whatever, I will put them on empty plots. So you will find like that I have empty plots full of furniture and I will stick things like up here in the top of the gazebo. <laughs> so in the top of the gazebo, I have like a whole bunch of braziers to light it up. And I think I put them in both my gazebos. Because I think they kind of give you the most light that you're going to get up in the top of the gazebo is, is with the emberborn braziers. So they're perfect for that. Because see, you can look up there inside the gazebo and see that the braziers are burning bright up there. And you can also see that I still have my crazy light fixture just hanging out in the middle of the starry sky. I guess while I have all my trunks out and hooked together to make my ladder, I should get up there and take that down. But I didn't put it there. <laughs> it's 
ghostly. It's a ghost. Oh, hey, there's one of those. And I could get seeds from it. Grimalkin tail plant. Let's go see how that looks in our emberborn reed planter. Anyway, I'm once again out of Palium and Flowood. Let's see. Okay, so Go says, I saw someone planted a tree under their floating lights, and it really lights up the tree. <gasps> hey, that's a good idea. Oh, that is a really good idea. Okay, and oh, and Mordrena says she likes Dragon Tide, but would prefer it in Sylvan's But Oh, hey, you guys, we've got a first-time chat person. Little Birdie, 1972, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, it's so good to have somebody new in the chat, yay. We are doing the drops. So anyone who is trying to get their Paleo drops for the Palcat and the, that good stuff, we are doing our last hour of the drops, although I'm sure we'll be on here forever. But um, under the furniture making, I know I won't be able to add this up in my head, but wait a minute. I know. Ghost will add it up for me. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So if you started out with Ember Born, um, the armchair is 20. The tub is 60. So we're already up to 80. The bed is 30. So we're at 110. 40 for the bookshelf, that's 150. The brazier is 25, so we're at 175. And the coffee table is 30, so what are we at? 205, I think that's right. I think we're at 205. They couldn't make it an even number. A really small even number, like, you know, six would be good <laughs> instead of 30. <laughs> Okay, ghost, where were we? Did you add? <laughs> 205? Yes. Oh, thank Byron. He was keeping track and said 205. Okay, so if we add 30, that's 235. 275. 40 more. Oh my gosh, 315, I think. We're talking 315 flow wood planks, kids. Another 20. So that's 335. The fence. I won't even add the fence. I'll just do the furniture. <laughs> so where were we? 335? 10 more. That's like one of the lowest things you can make. So 345, 360, if you make the light fixture, the hanging planter is the lowest at five. So that's 365. The mirror, I've got a check mark. I already made it, but I don't know where it is. Hey, I don't know where that is. Okay, so that's 405. The nightstand has an odd number, eight. Oh. Great, thank you. 413, just what I needed. 413. The reed planter, another 30. So that's 443. 443, kids. Good Lord. 463. I mean, come on. The stool. Let's see, 463 plus 15. 478. I mean, who decided this stuff? 478. Okay, I won't count the gate and the fence. 478 plus 5. That's uh, 483. Golly, I used a lot. Oh, my gosh. 493 and 40. So, 533, I believe. But you get the idea. So it's approximately 535. 
low wood planks to make one furniture collection. And that is not including the fence and the gate, which I made at Christmas time. The fence is like 20 flow wood per panel of the fence. And the gate was 40. So I hate to think what I have in that fence. But um, it's a lot. You know, I mean, my Gosh, that's a lot of pieces. I don't even want to think about it. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't even make a double piece, but maybe. I don't, I don't remember. And I'm out of Flowood, so I can't even make a piece. Oh, Byron is so smart. He said... If I act like, yeah, there you go. Emberborn fence. One. One unit. <laughs> For 20 flowwood pieces. Look how much I used. Oh, that's crazy. So on top of the 535 that I just used to make the whole set of furniture, I probably used three or four hundred easily to make that fence and gate last Christmas. Gosh, that's um, that's a lot of flow wood. And that's not counting the pallium bars. And there are somewhere between, you know, one and ten pallium bars in every piece also. It is really cool looking when you put it together. And I think that it makes a great man cave, a guy room. But, um, oh, yeah, wow. And when I made that fence and uh, gate in December, we didn't have flow groves. Flow groves did not exist. So Byron and I would go out to Bahari and make our own flow groves. <laughs> so we would go chop down trees in one little area and we would just chop them down until we could get flow trees to start appearing. And that was how you did it back in the old days, <laughs> back in the old days. <laughs> but <clears throat> you can probably get by with, in order to get to the hot tub, which everybody wants the hot tub. So if you pick the smallest thing out of the three choices every time so that you can get by as cheap as possible on pieces of flow wood, I still think it might be around 200 pieces of flow wood before you would get to your hot tub. And then it is 60 flow wood to make the hot tub. So, oh, golly. And, you know, I didn't find that mirror back. You should have seen before the stream, I went to both of my empty plots, which I call the superfluous plot and the redundant plot because I don't need them. They give you extra plots for free, but you have to buy them if you want to get a gazebo. So you start out with your free, you know, your regular plot and a couple of free slots you can use, you know, so you've got plenty of what, you know, whatever you want to do. But then in order to get the gazebo, you have to purchase extra whole plot sections. And I, it was like 50,000 and then 75,000 and then 125,000. I think it added up to a quarter of a million. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, look, I accidentally took my wallpaper down again. Well, there's another thing. Did you guys know you can do that? It's crazy. It's crazy time. There's, um, when you're, uh, we had Christmas decorations all over the outside of the house. Just tons of them. And I was taking down Christmas decorations and accidentally pulled the wallpaper down off the inside walls of the house. <laughs> you would not think that you could do that, but you sure enough can. 
And I wouldn't even realize it, you know, because it just goes back into your box. It goes into the ether or whatever. It's not like it. Um, it's not like in your backpack. So it's kind of crazy. I had all this nice um, glass tile in my whole bathroom so that it had such, you know, just a really nice contrast. You wouldn't think navy would go with green glass tile, but actually with the gold accents, it all looks pretty good together. But apparently when I took my Christmas decorations off the outside of the house, I took down my wallpaper by accident. It happens. But I do use my houses um, for recording videos. And so a lot of times it looks like a loony bin anyway, because like the other day I had to put up my cat wallpaper. You guys will have access, I think next week, to a pal cat wallpaper. This is the one they gave away last December. So that's the one that I got last December, and I didn't have it up anywhere at this point in time. So in order to show it in the video, I went ahead and put it up here in the bedroom. So we have kitty cat paw print wallpaper in the bedroom. I love this wallpaper, which was one of our new ones that we got recently. It's so cool. Mordrena, Mordrena put like a face in the chat, <laughs> just a scary face, like, ah, <laughs> I've scared her, I've scared her away. And then Ghost says that, oh, he thinks the house is amazing. Well, oh, hey, there's my mirror. Look what we found. I didn't even think about looking in here because... You know, this is the witchy room, so all my witchy furniture is in here. So I didn't even think about there being an ember born piece in here. Well, all righty, we're going to carry it outside. <laughs> we'll just stick it in right behind the sofa. So that when I go to make the video about all the pieces and how much they cost, which is going to really make people sad. They'll get to see all the pieces. I don't think I colored that one. I think that's the color it is. Well, we found the mirror, kids. That was that was good. <laughs> hey, Shazzy! Shazzy6164. I kind of like that name. Hey, how's it going? Hey, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are streaming for the drops, of course. So we streamed an hour and a half a couple of days ago for drops, and I wanted to at least stream an hour or two today for anybody that needs to still finish up their drops. Um, I guess I can show the pal cat since I did not do that yet. This is Sandy, Sandy the pal cat. So this is what people are trying to get. This purple one is the pal cat that we got last year uh, in December of 2023. So now I don't know if they will do a pal cat um, type thing once a year. They did it in 23. Now they're doing it in 24. Or if they'll do it every six months or if they will not ever do it again. I don't know. But anyway... Last year, when we got that purple pal cat, we got this purple cat rug um, that's underneath there. That was that was called the large rug, and this cat head was called the small rug. And it looks like they're doing kind of the same thing this time, but um, they're throwing in some of these uh, pal tech items with it. Elsa for Frozen. Elsa for Frozen. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Mel. I've been lurking for some time. I got my drops, but wanted to watch you as you hardly stream. I know. I'm a brand new streamer. How funny is that? I streamed for the very first time. Oh, gosh. Maybe it was about 10 days ago on YouTube. And that was my first stream ever. And I forget what we were doing wrong, but something at the beginning wasn't working. So at least the first five or 10 minutes, we were a big old mess. And then last two, was it Tuesday? Anyway, five days ago, 
So sometime this past week, I did my very first Twitch stream ever. And these guys, my little Discord devils came along. I love my Discord devils. They're so sweet. And they came along with me. And for the first five minutes, I didn't have any sound and didn't know it. I am going to stream at least for these three weeks of doing the drops. You were surprised by the max number of flowers on the plot. Lady Vixen, you were surprised like that there was only 500 because I thought it was 1,000. I thought they were letting us do 1,000, but it still acted like 1,000 was the limit on flowers. But now if it's saying 500, that's new. That's different. And I would need to get a video out and announce that for people if that has changed. I'll try to see if I can find out. Okay, so I am going to get off this stream. So I will be streaming more often and I hope I will see all of you guys again on the next stream. So check for me on Twitch. I will try to see if Brian and I can make up a schedule we can stick to and put it on Twitch and then we'll see you guys. I love you guys all so, so much. Thank you for coming. And I, have, I really, really hope I see you in the next one.